have our pizza. The colors of the color wheel are on the inside. We have our crust and of course some lovely pizza toppings. So let's get started. All right, so the materials you will need for this project, you will be given a paper plate and that is where the pizza will go on. You will be given crayons to color in your color wheel. You will be given brown paper that you will make the crust out of. You will be given some little cut up uh, yellow pie cleaners and that's the cheese. You will also have red tissue paper that you can cut up to create red peppers or pepperoni, whatever toppings that you like a pencil and a ruler in order to help you map out where your color wheel will go and the different sections of the color wheel. And you will be given some Elmer's glue that is going to be in a clear container. You are going to paint on the Elmer's glue where the crust and the toppings go with a paintbrush and the glue in here. And that way you don't have to use a glue stick. I find this much easier. So first of all, you will have your paper plate in front of you and you will take a ruler to split it into sections. The sections do not have to be perfect, so don't waste time trying to make them perfect. You simply need six sections for our six colors. So I'm gonna start by creating a section down the middle. I am going to make another section across, so that way we have four sections. We need six sections in total. So I'm just gonna go one more down the center. And it's okay, they're not even, it's totally fine. Pizza does not have to be even. And you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six sections for our six colors on the color wheel. So now it is time to color in our color wheel pizza. I have my six rainbow crayons on the side over here. Those are gonna fill in our six sections. You're gonna start with red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. It doesn't matter which section you start in as long as you go in that order. So I'm going to start coloring those in. I'm gonna speed that part up for you so you don't have to waste time watching me color in all of the sections because that's pretty boring. paper for the crust. What I like to do is just rip up the paper. I find that more fun. So you're just going to take the paper, rip it up. You don't need super small pieces. You want kind of thicker pieces so you can take up more space in the crust. I would say pieces about this size is exactly what you need. After you rip up enough pieces of paper, you're going to go in and start gluing those on. I now have my pile of brown paper, so my pile of crust over here. In order to start gluing that on, I'm going to take my clear container and open that up. There is Elmer's glue inside. So I find that this works a lot better to stick the crust along the outside than using a glue stick. So to do this, you're going to take your piece of crust and you are just going to paint the glue on. You don't need a lot. You just want it to lightly cover that paper. And you can see my whole paper is covered up until the edges. And then you can just start gluing that down and it stays really well. So I'm gonna go around and I am going to glue down my crust and I will speed that up for you as well. My crust is now on. I have a nice delicious pizza forming. My crust is not perfect. It does not have to go all the way to the edges. You can see some white still and that's totally fine. So now I have my cheese. My cheese is in a little bowl. It's just a little cut up yellow pipe cleaner. You simply just take a piece of your pipe cleaner cheese, take a little bit of that glue from the container that you are using, and you're just gonna put a line of glue right there, just kind of paint it on, and then stick down your cheese. So you just wanna put your cheese on randomly. It does not have to be in a specific order. My pizza is nice and cheesy. Time to add some pepperoni. You can fold up the tissue paper if you want or just cut out one at a time. I'm just gonna go around on the edge and just cut a little circle. And because it was folded, I have lots of little pieces of pepperoni. So I don't really have to cut anymore. I can just use these. You're gonna glue them on just like you did with the cheese. You have 
your delicious cheesy pepperoni color wheel pizza. Yum yum! <laughs>